not? I don't know how. She's, they've forgotten everything since we've been able to have a lesson. Do you know how to breathe? Yeah. Do you oh. know how to tighten your thighs? Yeah. Do you know how to squeeze your core? <laughs> Do you know how to tighten your belly muscles? At least she's honest. Well, belly muscles, what are those? I want you to imagine behind your belly button, I want you to try and squeeze your belly muscles. I can't even see her in the camera. Can you feel them? Your, your belly muscles will just squeeze. So the whole time you've been gone, she has been having trouble slowing down. Lift your hands out of your crotch. And look, he's settled down. Remember, you have to slow your rising in order to slow him down. If you post a million miles a minute, he's gonna trot a million miles a minute. None of the horses like the that arena. That means that you need to squeeze your thighs and breathe. It's getting there. Bring your legs back underneath your booty. Wait. Did you notice I don't pull up in here? You know what? She doesn't pull as much on Finn because she feels more comfortable here. Oh, good. So keep your legs back underneath you because when you kick them out in front, he tries to run away because your saddle is digging into his withers. I'm already tired. Excellent. Excellent. When you achieve a nice trot, you may walk. When you achieve a nice trot, you may walk. When you achieve a nice bedroom, you may have your phone. Oh. Isn't that a good one? I like that. When you achieve not talking back, you may have your phone. Uh, we don't know what you wanted with the jumps. Sophie hasn't jumped in a long time. Like really jumped. Like I remember before when lessons got canceled again, she was doing really gr great. How about we do a circle and stop chasing Chino? Let's be proactive. Remember we're riding a re- What'd she say? I have no idea. But she can't hear me when she's talking. No. Well, I said you good girl. I just cracked my knuckle on the horse's neck. Breathe. I told you, I'm like, it's never going to stop. This is a whole new stage. Breathe, Sophie. Definitely doing good. I'm definitely not tired. Good. I think that was sarcasm. You just got 12 more laps. What? What? <laughs> now I said we make them do 13. I was thinking the same thing. My thigh hurts. Your horse is still trotting 100 miles a minute. How is that acceptable? Okay. Use the coach card. Say I haven't had a coach in a long time. Don't give her excuses. <laughs> Grip with your thighs. Breathe and lean back. Don't let him run. Okay, so if we give away our reins, we are giving away our control. We have told him he can do whatever he wants. Then you're picking up the reins and yanking on his mouth, telling him he can't. So you need to be clear. We need to keep a hold of our reins and say, I am still the boss. I am still the one in control. I'm not going to rip on your teeth. We're just going to walk. Look up. <laughs> He's like, what is that? I don't care if we go sideways, as long as we're walking. Oh. Keep control. Keep contact. Soft contact. Lift your left rein. Maybe. Which way is his head pointed? Left, right, or straight? Pardon? <laughs> Gonna be left. It's currently right. We'd like it straight or a little to the left. Now I'll let you shorten your reins up and take control like you're in the show ring. There's a judge watching you. You have to make it look all perfect and pretty. It's your dad. Your dad is the judge. Just because I'm here. Doesn't mean you get to be all over the place. Well, they're all over the place when you're not here. This is this is put together. Oh, this is really calm for us. <laughs> Have you missed me, Cabby? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I've missed you. I did not sign on for this job of watching them ride. Breathing. <laughs> I think that I'm going to hiding Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade oh. I could be the one who saved you from this hard place We could be as one and we'll escape Slow your booty. When you rise, don't throw him forward with your hips. Rise slower, Sophie. Slower. How slow can you?
You need to be floating as opposed to pushing. We're floating. That looks better. Float up out of the saddle. Float down into the saddle gently. She has an electric butt today. Yeah, well, I think maybe this is a whole age thing. Oh, yeah, uh, the uh, excitement and the hyperness and the yeah. go, 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 go is going right into her booty. She had a bagel for breakfast, that's it. She probably needs more food. Do you see how nice that was for that corner? I need that all the way around the ring, and then we'll kill her. The sooner you get it, the less tired you'll be. That's okay, I can do that after. This breeze is gorgeous. It is lovely out here. Feel how nice that is? I'm tired. I'm good. You need this all the time, Sophia. You need to memorize what this feels like. I'm not always here. I give you tools to put in your toolbox. I cannot build the house for you. Oh, come on. She's 11, for God's sake. She can't build the house. I'm just joking. I give her all the tools. She should be able to do just fine. You may canter. She's like, canter? I'm yeah. exhausted. She rode the storm the other day, and she's like, I just have to tell my horse to canter, and he canters. Stretch, and let's not gallop. I didn't, I didn't say race. She likes to do that now. We're just going to change this one, give her a bust in style and run her in the barrel. Well, I think she might like that. Can we go swimming? Can we take Molly? I don't know. We'll see. So are we just going to quit jumping and turn you into a barrel racer? Huh? Are we just going to quit jumping and turn you into a barrel racer? No. I... Even though that'd be less scary. That'd be less scary, she says. She's obviously not watching the same barrel racers that I watch. It is less scary. You don't have to go over obstacles. Better there. Keep breathing. Half halt. Lift your hands off his neck. I think Finn would. Finn's the right kind of... Slow your booty down. Your energy level is very high. He's feeding off of that. You need to fake that you're quiet and calm and going to sleep. Between the blue and red jumps, you may walk. Keep your booty together and don't stick your feet out. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. There we go. Good job. Feet underneath us. Hands up. Eyes up. Core tight. Tighten your belly muscles. Ben's gonna leave you a poop, Sam. That's a far walk too. He's like, I think you need some exercise. So, because you're excited and you're having fun and that's a good thing, but your excitement level is making him like this. Okay? So, I don't think I'm excited. But you are. We can tell by your happiness level. Yeah, it's your, it's your happy, and your, which is a good thing. What you have to do, though, is have a calm about you. Okay. I don't know how to do that. Just okay, take a deep practice. breath. You can't just say I don't know how or I'm not going to. Yeah, story of practice. Story of my life with her. Work on it. Okay. You need to do you know how you and you're afraid you gotta fake it till you make it? Yeah. No, yeah. she doesn't. Same deal when you're hyper or when you're excited or when you're very happy. You need to fake it that you're Calm and relax at the same time until you can actually feel that way. Because right now you got a little electric butt that is telling him to just go wee. And I'm about ready to put the barrels up and let you run some barrels instead of jump some jumps. When Jacob was getting ready to ride Gracie, she was really spooky and he said, I'm a little bit afraid, Nana. And he's like, Oh. It's okay. I'm just going to get on and do it and be brave. And I'm like, oh, that is my child. <laughs> Let's try a trot. Calm. Like you're doing yoga and meditating. We can work on that. You could do yoga with mom and Gabby. Check your eyes. Yoga is very good for riding, actually. 
It's very calming. I like that we have a little bit of grass in our arena. We've got in the corners. Yeah, perfect parking spot. We can run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel it if birds inside. Take away the pain, we can go and say, I can feel it if birds inside. We can run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel it if birds inside. Take away the pain, we can go and say, Trust me, I won't let you down. Right, this is the last 10 minutes of the lesson, you guys. Eggs! Hands! You feel like you're leaning forward? Yes. That's because your feet are kicking forward. When you kick your legs forward, your body wants to fall backwards, so you compensate by bending at the waist and leaning your upper body forward. You need to actually reteach your body to bring your legs back and balance underneath your hips. He likes it, doesn't he? Land Better. on the front of your saddle when she's balanced. Yeah. Absolutely, he does. Hands up! You have a fence, the kind of pony that pushes your legs forward. So you have to, like, because he's scooting back. Yeah. So uh, I had a horse that I trained. No. If you took your legs off, he went faster. If you kept your legs on the belly of the horse, the horse actually slowed down and balanced because she wasn't afraid of being kicked. If your legs are off the horse all the time, then he's waiting for you to kick him into the next gear. And just because you think it's a soft squeeze, to you it's a soft squeeze, to him it's a kick because there's and no contact, then contact. Yeah, he's If your legs are already in contact with his belly and you just add more pressure, then it's an easier transition. He's not always anticipating that bump in the belly. That's what was wrong with Penny when I got her. Yes. <laughs> That was kind of random, Sophie. Where do your Sophie? hands go? Thank you. Yes. That was perfect. Lean back and breathe. Perfect. It's been a while since Sophie's been jumping because we haven't had a trainer. Good job, Fiona. And Sophie gets, whenever they say, can I stop now, can I stop now, because they're scared, 
She's like, yep, you can stop after you do this. Big half hop. One, two, three, four. Good girl. Well, now you may walk. Good job, Sophie. Well done, kiddo. Don't you know that you're beautiful?